Good afternoon, Click Fam, and welcome back to wonderful Orlando, Florida. We're here at Click Connect for the Cube. Very excited. Power Pack coverage all day today. My name is Savannah Peterson. Thank you for tuning in. We've got the fabulous Emma joining us today. Emma, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. You told me that we're excited to have you. You told me that this is your first Click Connect. It is. What's your first impression? It is much bigger than I was expecting. There's lots of energy and buzz and everyone's really excited to be here. Yeah, I mean, so what brought you all the way from Ireland here? And tell us a little bit about who you work for and why you wanted to be at this event. I work for Henderson Group in Northern Ireland um, who are a wholesale, retail and food service company. We've been doing a lot of exciting things with ClickSense the last year, year and a half, and we thought it was a really good chance to come and learn and to bring back new ideas. So it was a really relevant time for us to come this year. That's awesome. So what type of things have you been doing? We have recently launched a self-service initiative with Cl using ClickSense. So we've been teaching um, multiple users across the business how to create their own analytics dashboards, which we're really excited about. Oh, yeah. I imagine that illuminates a lot for your customers and for everyone. Yeah. The different departments and the end users are the ones that know exactly what they need the data for. So we've been getting really creative, really interesting dashboards that we maybe wouldn't have seen if it was a smaller team building these. So it's, it's been really cool. Oh, that's interesting. Have you learned anything through some of those dashboards that was unexpected? Um, we have been able to create different types of analysis that we maybe wouldn't have had before. So we've been able to more easily look at things like projected sales and maybe one of our warehouses we're looking at where different products sit on the shelves. And if we use maybe something like projected sales, we can see, is that product in the right place? Or um, if we need to move it to a bigger location to meet the upcoming demand, and it makes things more efficient, so we're not having to reload pick locations and stuff as often, we're doing, we're doing cool things. And there's a lot to that, the strategy of where things are in a store, right? That's taking on our psychology, our patterns throughout the store. What, what, are, what are some of the factors that go into that? That's just kind of interesting to think about, honestly. Um, I don't know that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's OK. That's for someone else who's looking at those dashboards to understand. <laughs> um, I am, I mean, let's see, I could talk about, um, let me think. We're doing, we have a dashboard that analyzes um, different category performance. So we're Ooh. looking at maybe new product ranges and how the location of those in different stores or different store types are, is affecting the sales. So um, we can make like faster decisions on whether product ranges should stay or if they should be given more floor space or that sort of thing, which has been really impactful for the end customer. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, that is actually kind of neat. I think I'm one of those point of purchase display people. I always buy something right in the checkout line. They know. Yes. They know what I want that's at that juncture. There. I know. <laughs> and, it kill, and I'm aware of it, and I'm still picking it up and buying it. It's, it's, uh, it's a little frustrating. What did you think of, of the keynote and some of the announcements this week? Is there anything in particular? Very exciting. For? I'm really interested to learn a little bit more about the Click Answers. Was it mm -hmm. called Click Answers? Yes, yes, great job. Good memory. You were paying <laughs> really attention this morning. I'm excited to learn more about Click Answers. Um, I think incorporating that um, conversational piece right there in your dashboard is really exciting. Yeah, I think, I think you're absolutely right. Anything you're excited to do here in Orlando? We are going to Universal Studios tomorrow evening. The Click team are taking us all there, and I'm really excited for that. It's my first time in Florida. And I'm excited to go on some of the Harry Potter rides in particular. Oh, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> yeah, I know it's going to be fun. Jurassic World, dinos. Yes. Ugh, I'm a little jealous. OK, now, now that you've gotten on the ground here, and it's exciting, you're still smiling, so it seems like you're having a great time. What do you hope you're able to say when you come to Click Connect next year that you can't say today? Um, <laughs> some things that we're hoping to get more involved with are things like AutoML and some of the generative AI and um, new features that are coming down. Our journey with ClickSense is still quite early. So um, there's a lot of things that we still want to explore and learn and do more things with. Awesome, exciting. Well, we can't wait to see what you do. Emma, thank you so much for taking a few moments out of this busy and exciting time for you. Thanks show. for talking to me. Yes, my <laughs> pleasure. And thank all of you for tuning in to our power-packed coverage here in Orlando, Florida. We're at Click Connect. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching The Cube, the leading source for enterprise tech news.